All right, Uncle Sam FM here. And we are on episode 11 of the American Football Series. And we are actually in the Super League of Final. And I said that if we made it there, I would probably do a live com of it. And so that's what we'll do. We'll see if we can continue our success for this season. And we'll look quickly at the schedule. And as you might be able to tell, I've I've changed skins. You know, I, I, I try to stay with the default, but I... Um, I happened upon this one and it looked like it was it was close to the default but added a couple little things so i said hey i'll give it a try uh it's the cfm skin and i'll probably link you to it in the um in the video description so that if you like it you can give it a try there are two versions they have a just the regular version and then there's one if you donate uh i donated so i figured i would also whatever recommend it um so Obviously, things have gone pretty well um, since the Champions Cup, right? We finished, we, we did, I think we left off, uh, yeah, we, after the FC Dallas game, where we beat FC Dallas, uh, we did draw that Superliga final group match against Toronto FC. That meant that we won the group, um, played a experimental team in that match just to try and, yeah, I already knew that I had advanced, so, um, but... Second team guys did me proud, and they got a draw against Toronto, and so we went into the semifinal, um, which actually that's what we're going to be playing now. I, I said final, didn't I? I meant semifinal. Um, so uh, then we played the Campiones Cup final and a kind of a rematch against Monterey. Got a one nothing win there. Probably deserved more, but you know we we got the cup, so that's all that we really wanted. And then we played Colorado. Uh, the Rapids in the Open Cup final and dominated that match, ran away with it. Um, Colorado ended up having two guys sent off, I think. Or maybe it was just, maybe it was one. Well, in any case, um, we won. Could have been worse, but as you can see, Albert Elise missed a penalty. It would have been it made it four. Um, but, you know, dominant effort. Brought home the cup, second straight year, <clears throat> so that was good. And league play has gone mostly well. We'll look at the table here in a minute. We are coming off a loss, though, at home against Colorado. But, again, played mostly a second team, preparing for this semifinal against Atlanta United, which is reeling a little bit. They, they're they one of the better teams in the league, but um, they're struggling. They sacked their manager, and um, we'll go real quick to look at the <clears throat> the table. Um, yeah, as you can see, they're not even in the playoff hunt. Uh, they're safe as far as relegation goes, but um, yeah, they're they're also seven points out of of the playoffs, so not not going to be able to cover that. So they're pretty locked in, pretty much where they are. Um, so uh, looking at their manager, um, they brought in Rubinacci, who I'm to be honest with you, not a hundred percent familiar with. So this will kind of be an experience for me. Um, he, yeah, his favorite, his favorite formation is a four-four-two, but I'm pretty sure he's coming in with a five-three-two because I don't think they're going to try to attack us. So, um, so yeah, that's kind of where things are. I'm already in match because if you if you follow me on if you if you follow any of the threads on the SI Games forum, I've started working on a box midfield. And I'm using another team in this save. I created a new manager. And they've got another match that's going to play right after this one. But um, we'll just do the uh, we'll do the semifinal against Atlanta United. See if we can advance. Um, I hope to, but this is a pretty good team. Like I say, they are, truth be told, their squad is better than mine. And as you saw, they are going to come in defensive. Um... I'm going to try and force their wing backs in. I think that's my standard OP anyway. Yeah, forcing their wing backs in so they can't cross in. Um, although, really, their guys aren't tremendous headers, but they're good enough to where you kind of have to keep an eye on them. So, um, tactic wise, I'm not going to change anything from my standard setup, and we'll just kind of see how things go. We'll, we'll read it as we go. Um, United are better than their recent run of form. That's definitely true. That's not just me. Um, whatever. Do using manager speak. 
they are um, they are not the ninth best team in the Eastern Conference. But for whatever reason, you know, FM's funny. You, they'll get results like that. And right away, we have a nice cross, but can't get the finish. My guys aren't the best in the air either. <clears throat> Some notes out wide. Martinez. Thomas. And he gives it away. Um, one kind of little note you may have noticed. On my, if, I don't remember if we went to the squad screen or not, but I lost my... the. Can't remember the guy's name now. That's bad. But the wing back that I loaned in, uh, who usually is my right back, he's injured for about three weeks. So um, I've had to bring in Delgado on the right. Oh, I didn't even believe it. I didn't mention this. I sold Lungfist. Well, well, mm, after the match, we'll go and look at uh, the transfer. Sold Lungfist for I want to say four million. I got his value. Um. Plus, if he if he plays, I think fifty league games, then I get another I don't know million dollars or something. There's, I um, I don't I don't sell. I don't know how you guys operate, but I don't I I get value right. I'm gonna make sure that I get value for my player. Otherwise, I'm not gonna sell him. Now we're dominating the run of play. We just can't put anything away right now. Um. So. I know there's a lot of clauses, make this many league appearances. Ooh, oh, oh, Martinez, good save. And by the way, Nantier is now my starting goalkeeper. He's he's become better than Derek. I've got sick and tired of watching Derek fart around and cost me goals. So I've benched him. Um, but yeah, I I don't uh, I don't try to get when I sell a player. I want to make sure I get his value before any of those extra clauses. Um, because there's always a chance that I don't, you know, I don't, they don't hit those numbers that you have to get. Maybe he gets injured. Um, and Elise gets us a one nothing lead. Deserved. We've controlled the run of play. This has been coming for the whole first 25 minutes. And Elise right there where he needs to be for the square across. And we're up one nothing. And I kind of don't like how this is set up. Can I see formations? Yeah, we'll go with that. All right, and here scoops it up. And we're back over here. Hmm, Nardella with a shot, and it's wide. Ardella's been playing more too. He um, he's really developed this season. He kind of plays that um, number eight role, center mid role, not, not a six, but you know sits in um, center mid. He's not the he's not the attacking mid. He's not my number ten. That'd be Martinez, but he kind of links play to those other guys. Martinez to Nardella. Let's get it. Yeah, let's circulate it over here where we got some numbers Martinez de Minotas and Duque takes it ooh gave it away Melise gotta finish that and Dalrymple to Guzan Delgado to Nardella Martinez to Minotas Delgado and Elise makes it two Five minutes before the half. Nice cross. Elise is having a good game. He better be finishing these. He missed that penalty against Colorado. That really kind of pissed me off. Can I say piss? <laughs> well, I did. Uh, my, even my banner says Super League of Final. Sorry about that. This is the semifinal. And... Atlanta with a corner, but they can't get a finish. And looks like we're going to go into the half. Still up. 2-0. Doesn't look like they're going to change anything, so I'm not going to. I'm very happy with the way things are going. Well done, fellas. Mostly thumbs up everywhere. And we'll tell them that I have faith in you. Get a few more thumbs up. 
and really don't see the need to make any changes. It didn't look like Atlanta was going to change anything, so I'm not going to. Well, I'll take that back. I might, uh, hopefully this doesn't cost me, but I'll probably lower my back line a little bit. This would be a little safer back there. Lane United, you got to respect their forwards. They... They are good. I don't think this tactic suits them. I think they're more of your 4-3-3. Real life, um, Martino has them playing like a 4-2-3-1 that is you know, very attacking, very aggressive. Ooh, Barco's good. He's he's good. So good save by Nantier. I may need to go to my... Um, well, I'll tell my guys to concentrate. Focus up. Let's hold this lead. Don't lose focus. When you got a young team, losing focus is always a danger. Delgado. Delgado made me gone in the offseason. Set him on easy tackles. Ooh, there you get a header. Things are starting to kind of go their way, so I need to maybe think about changing what I do here. Didn't get that. Let's let's bring on a sub. Um, Artur looks like he's towering a little bit. George isn't the best tackler, but he's going to come in at one hundred percent. Trying to decide if I want to pull off Pena. He's the only front three guy that's not having a great day. So let's go ahead and pull him off. Let Winger have a run out. Looks like we've got this game. 20 minutes. Atlanta's still in their defensive set. I'll tell you one thing I usually do against this formation that I didn't, still was able to be successful, was look for overlap. A little more narrow. So let's get two on one against those wide players. Hmm, Kyoto. Okay, let's. Yeah, we need to back off. Uh, I have a standard preset. Well, it's not there. So we'll just standard, a little bit higher tempo, a little more expressive. And here we go. And we'll bring in Gil for Martinez. A little more solidity in the central midfield, trying to get a little more fresh legs there. As we try and hang on. There goes the tackle. Thomas puts it in. Elise, that could have been your hat trick, buddy. Could have been your hat trick. But we'll take it. 2-0, we are advancing to the final. Um, probably won't do the final. I um, live com. We'll wait till the MLS Cup. We'll wait till the Cup final. MLS. If I make it to the MLS Cup final, I don't know. Um, don't know that I have. Are the oh, Vera Cruz and Toronto is still tied at nil nil. So that is the we play the winner of that. But Veracruz had a man sent off, so <clears throat> here we are in the final moments of our 2 0 win against Atlanta. Was it three? No. Uh oh, looks like they may have a counter here to make us sweat a little bit. Thomas with a sweet tackle. Give me that ball. I'll take that. You guys go ahead, get on your plane, head back to Georgia. We are going to go on to the final. George out to Delgado, and that's it. All right, so 2-0. Um, dressing room, fellas. Hey, I'm very happy with the result and the way that you played. Okay, um, I'm 
going to see if I can get back to the main screen. Click on one of these guys. Yeah, okay. So I told you we were going to look at the club's um, transfer history. Look at that Lungfist transfer. Where is it? Out. Yeah. So, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, so it's 5 million, which that's what his value was. And it could rise up to 7 million if he meets the incentives. Um, so that's that's a pretty good deal. Um, I feel like, you know, he, he was at, and he's young. He's a little younger than I typically like to sell, 24. But you never know when you're going to get those offers. And Gladback came in, and I had two guys ready to go. I had his backup in Connor Thomas, um, who actually is either footed, right? Yeah, so he could play left or right. Uh, he's 23. So he was ready to step in, I felt, into that starting role. And then I've also got this guy, um, 23-year-old left back, who is, I felt, ready to start getting more appearances as kind of the second team. So because I had guys ready to fill, I sell. That's my typical transfer policy. Um, I'm trying to get too hung up on guys. Um, obviously, I, I, I like Lungfist. He's very attacking. He's almost a perfect fullback for how I play. But, you know, you hang on to a guy and eventually you can't get value for him. And um, I feel like I'm a club that needs to sell, right? And so, um, you know, I'll use my, you know, finances to help develop my training, my facilities, the training facilities, and even my youth facilities, because that's just kind of the club I want to be. Maybe in the future, um, I'll, you know, give contracts, big contracts. Um, but obviously, the MLS wage structure salary cap all that makes it difficult um to really build a team like that but um which is one of the reasons i i operate this way so um yeah good good match and kind of give you guys a look at where i am two more matches left in mls play um before we go to the playoffs and we have won the supporter shield we're the number one team in the league had the best record even though we were we're in a very much a rebuilding process but our our success early that big winning run right there like 12 wins in a row really made it difficult for anybody to be able to challenge me